just wanted roti with ghee on it, like what I used to have when I was young. Like when maybe the ghee made me put on weight, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I remember that you know when I used to go to school or when I was younger, when we used to have a khana, it used to be like just chapati with ghee, and then all the vegetables used to come like on a plate. And I was just like, I just want that. My craving was for just ghar ka khana, like you know, like roti, like chapati with like ghee and like. It's very like tindora and like gobi alu and like it was really like I I don't know how to explain it. It was very like ghar khana. I wanted like maki dal and like turi and all of this stuff. Like it was not fancy at all. I didn't want like caviar or anything. I just wanted like ghar khana. Mine was totally weird. I used to had pickles with peanut butter and my husband was That's so he was shocked. He was saying. <laughs> Thank you, Sonam. Thank you, Manzi. Thank you. Can we have a question from Yuvika Abroad? Yes. Hi, Sonam. Hi. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, Manzi. Hi. Sonam, uh, with pregnancy come in a lot of hormonal changes, and a lot of people also uh, realize this as they've been through this. My question is similar to what Saru asked. Um, what were, what was the weirdest? Pregnancy advice that you got, or you know the craziest or the funniest pregnancy advice that you got, and from what age group? You know, as Indians, we have crazy ideas. Aisa khalo to bacha, waisa hoga. Oh, beautiful, taller, shorter, fairer, darker. So, what was the weirdest advice that you thought um, doesn't work, but you know you have to go through it because you have to listen to that person because, of course, they're concerned. You know, honestly, um, you get a lot of. You have very high progesterone, like everybody knows, when you get pregnant, and you get a lot of pigmentation. Like I had a lot of pigmentation. I had um, pigmentation everywhere. And weirdly, even though I have, I'm Indian. I don't. I never had that issue where I had like dark patches, and it was the first time I got it. So I used to get like really weird advice from a lot of people. On the creams that I should should use, and I should do this, and I should do that. And you need to be so careful, even with what you apply on your body. Like you need to be so so careful. And fortunately, um, I, I signed up with this brand that obviously I can't name here. And I met the lady who had um, started the brand, and she kind of helped me understand the kind of skincare that I needed to do during uh, my pregnancy. The weirdest pregnancy advice that I got: have coconut water, the child will be fair. <laughs> okay, it's genetic, but of course. <laughs> okay, the next question that we have is from Parul Agarwal. Parul, are you here? Hi, Sona. Hi. How are you? Very well. How are you? Good. You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. So does everybody. Everybody looks great. So hi, myself, Parul Agarwal. I'm a mommy of two kids. One is 13 years and another one is 8 years. So, like as a parent, we get a lot of questions. We get a lot of parenting advice from the people. Some are really good and some are really, you know, baseless. So, my question to you is, what is your best parenting advice that you have received? The best parenting advice you will want to give. What, what I've received? No, that you would want to give. What I'd want to give? You know, uh, when you're in an aircraft, the, when you're taking off, right before you're taking off, they give you a security briefing where they say, put the oxygen on you first and then put it on the other, put it on your child. So the first thing you need to do is take care of yourself so you can be a better mom to take care of your child. Um, love it, love it. So it's, it's important to, you know, eat right, you know, be kind to yourself. Um, you don't have to be like in India. As women, we are, so, you know, supposed to be. We need to sacrifice, sacrifice. Like that's what we've been. That's what we've been told, and we've been conditioned to think in that way. And as a mom, you want to do it, right? Because that child and your husband and everything is just it's preconditioning, but also that's your instinct as a mother. But to do that. Even if you have to, is you need to take care of yourself so you can be the best version of yourself for your child. Thank you. Thank you, Parul. And we have the last question from Sanakshi Singh. Sanakshi, are you here? 
Hello, I'm Sonakshi. I'm an engineer and a blogger. I want to ask you one question. So, have you ever made a panic 4 a.m. call to your mother and what was it about? My mom 